between those two. Here we go. Revs are up. Gates down. Carson Mumford, I believe that is, around the outside. Uh -oh. A couple riders down in the first turn. Is that both Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki oh, men, boy. both Forkner and Shimoda, but Mumford to the lead on the FXR Chaparral Honda, oh. but here comes Cooper. Well, talk about Horsepower Hill. We've talked about this star. Yamaha's the power they have. He had the pass done, but Mumford does not give up on that inside. Great rebound right there, not just giving it to the points leader. Talked to Mumford this morning. He's got Davey Millsaps on hand. That's his uh, coach and trainer. Got an eighth in a moto last week. Wasn't really thrilled with that. He knows he's not on one of the factory bikes, but he wants more. And Mumford leading them around. And uh -oh. we still have Swole down in the first turn. And he looks to be shaken. And there's bike problems for whichever one of the pro circuit riders there is on the right. We saw both Shimoda and Forkner down, so I'm not sure which rider that is. Same exact gear and bikes, and I can't see the number. Is that Mosman up to the... No, it's Pierce Brown, the number three spot on the 45. Challenging Cooper. And here comes R.J. Hampshire in fourth. It is Forkner. Ah, uh, man. Just every time Forkner has something going after a fourth in our second motor of the last race, disaster strikes again. Meanwhile, Hampshire going for it on Brown. A lot of action to cover here. Going in this twisty tree section, you don't see a lot of passing in there. Hampshire tried it, it didn't work. And I see Jeremy Martin coming up next. And Hampshire looking really racy on this opening lap, going wherever anyone else is. And I think that inside line may have just worked out for him.